Glam fam. Today I'm going to show you how I made this table, this little side table. Um, I was inspired by a table that I saw on Z Gallery's uh, website, but I put my own little spin on it. So if you would like to see how it was made, then just keep watching. Okay, everybody. The items that we're going to use in this project are as follows. So we're going to use this box that I purchased from Dollar Tree. We're going to use this um, like contact paper. I purchased this off of Amazon and it's rose gold. We're going to use our glue sticks, glue gun, and we're also going to use this tile that I purchased from eFavorMart.com and it's rose gold. They have uh, silver, gold, and rose gold in these um, mirror tiles. And they also have the um, same colors in like a smaller mirror tile. It's like um, the disco ball type of thing. But um, um, eFavor Mart is where I purchased that from. So what we're going to do is take this box. We're going to open the box up. And y'all, I was so shocked to see this box at, um, at uh, Dollar Tree. It was just crazy. Okay, so instead of using tape, I used high glue to, um, you know, to um, lock these corners in. I just use high glue right here. So all I'm doing is putting the high glue on the inside of the box and then I close it. I hope y'all can see that. I'm just closing the box. Okay, then I put the hot glue on the other side of the box. And then I close it. Okay, so now I put it on both ends here. And then I close it. It's a little bit stiff, and that just lets you know this box is really thick for it to come from Dollar Tree. It's thick, so um, so it's really, really stiff, which kind of shocked me. I'm uh, just applying a little pressure because, uh, like I said, the box is stiff. Okay, so now I'm going to do the other side. I'm trying to get it to where it'll actually stay good. Okay. So we just put the glue here. And we close it. And then I put the glue here. I just thought this was easier for me um, more so than using the tape. It was easier for me. It might not be easier for y'all. So you do it with however you know you see fit. Just do whatever you need to do. I just did it this way. Okay, so once you have that side done, now you can do this side. Okay, so basically now we have this box 
and the box is um, 11 and a half by two and a half by 12 and a half, meaning um, that some of the sides are um, shorter than the other. So that's gonna be important later on, but um, the two 12 and a half si sides are what we're gonna mainly use. Okay, so after we have that done, Y'all, this was like my hard, I think the hardest part for me. But um, the thing is about this, um, um, this uh, contact paper, this contact paper, I thought that the contact paper was kind of like a tint, but it's not, it covers pretty good, but I just thought it was a tint because that's what I was looking for. And I've been had it for a while. So I was like, you know, um, cause what I'm going to do in a future pro project is I'm going to, um, use tint to cover some glass. Okay. So anyway, we're going to measure it up. And, um, once I put it in, in the description box, the link to this, and you'll know what, uh, size I use because of the, I think it had 12 inch, whatever it was. It made me feel like it was going to be less cutting and all that. And so it really was. So it worked out pretty good. Okay, so what we're going to do, and you can use um, a credit card or something to, um, you know, flatten this out or whatever. I did it, but, you know, I'm just not all that of a perfectionist when it comes to this. You know, like I said, use what you need to use for you. Now, I'm trying to take this backing off of here. And just so y'all know, this was the hardest part for me to take this part off. This whole project was easy, but this was the hard part. And it is still the hard part. I don't want to ruffle the paper up, but I might have to. Okay. No, I can't. I can't seriously. Okay, I finally get it, y'all. I finally get it. Okay. So like I said, you can use um, um, a like credit card or something to lay this down with or whatever. I did so. I just kind of smoothed it out. It was easy to smooth out. And the good thing about this is it's uh, I, I like I said this part. Just putting this on, because I don't measure and stuff, putting this on, this was hard for me, you know, so <laughs> it might be easy for y'all. Anyway, all I did was get that and, you know, and I didn't care if some of the sides were not down it didn't even matter if they were um even or not it didn't matter so then um you just take the top piece off so you can see the shimmer okay so y'all like i said anybody could do these diys because they're not hard they may look like you spent hours and hours on it, but it's not that hard to do. I promise y'all, we can do this. Okay, so all I did at the corners, it doesn't matter how much is off of here, it's not gonna show. We're not wor worried about this part right here. So all you have to do is uh, cut like a little slit in the side. And then just fold it over or whatever. This part, like I said, it doesn't even matter. This part doesn't matter. Let's get to this side. 
And like I said, all we're going to do, and I, I hope y'all can see this. I'm sorry if you can't see it real good, but you just take it and cut a slit in there like that. Then you fold the, the sides down like this to make it an even, like the corners even. This, like I said, it doesn't even matter. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take the um, mirror tile. Y'all, how easy is this? I think people were just so amazed by this um, project, and they just don't know it was so simple. Okay, so all we're doing is putting the tile, and it doesn't have to, right now, you don't have to have it perfect, as long as it's, you know, at the end, almost at the end, it doesn't have to be perfect, because the corners are going to kind of like, um, it's kind of like going to blend in or whatever, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so I'm going to go around the box. All the way around the box until um, I'm done. And cut off as much excess um, paper as you can around the um, tile. That's that was my mistake at first. Um, you, you know, once it, it sticks really good, so once it's stuck, it's hard to get off. And this black part might end up on whatever it is you're trying to stick it to. So, I know I'm not the type of person that is just so, um, <laughs> I'm not like big on perfection, but uh, just make sure that. You try to take as much off as possible. So here I'm just putting uh, the tile on top of, I mean, on the sides of the um, boxes. And like I said, a lot of this stuff won't even matter in the end, so... So I'm going to keep on going around this box. And like I said, it ain't no big deal about, you know, it's already looking pretty. I mean, we can leave it like this. It's going to be fine. But anyway, um, I'm going to come back after I do um, a couple of boxes. And I'm going to show you how all of the boxes look together. Okay, my royal family. This is how the boxes turned out uh, with uh, them all on there. I made like eight of them. And um, I'm going to um, go upstairs and I'm going to put it all together and then I'm going to, you know, show you all how it looks. But before I do that, I want to show y'all a quick DIY that um, I, because I'm doing a project, a big project. And I want to show you all a quick DIY uh, that I'm blending in and I said I might as well throw this in with it because... I don't want to make a whole video about this. But anyway, these are some little boxes that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to make them out of like trinket boxes. So what I did was I used a bright cold copper colored uh, Rosolium spray paint. And I spray painted these boxes. So all I did was took some of the, um, the, uh, the towel I used and I glued the well, not glue, but I stuck the um, towel onto the box. This is a really simple, quick DIY. And these boxes, um, actually, they were like this at Dollar Tree. And it was like about, I think it's three that comes in here. But you have to buy it separately. But anyway, they charge you separately. I feel like that. So, the next thing I did, after I did that, I just put two, like, three um, on the side. Y'all can't see, can you? Oh, sorry. Okay, so all I did was put um, 
three on the side of the uh, box and three on the other side of the box. The quick DIY, y'all. And y'all, the reason I'm showing y'all all this because I, when I put, I'm gonna put everything together, and I'm gonna do a reveal. So everything I'm doing right now is for a reason, and y'all will understand later if y'all follow me. Y'all will understand the whole point in all of this later, and I'm so excited about it. Okay, so now we're gonna take these three. I'm gonna take about, let's see, about three of these gems. And I purchased these gems from um, E. Faber Mart um, because it was it was a bulk, uh, a bag. They give you a bag. And I do like Michaels, but these came in a big bag. And I think I paid like seven or eight dollars um, for the huge bag. And I paid 19 dollars in Michaels. So all I'm gonna do is um glue these gems together i'm gonna glue one more gem uh with this so now oops <laughs> now we have like three gems uh glued together so the next thing I'm going to do is take some glue and put it at the bottom of the uh, gems and just sit it on top of the box. Now this box is still functional, but I'm not going to use it for that. I'm going to show y'all what I'm going to use it for later. So anyway, I'm going to um, do this box and everything off camera because we're going to focus on our um, table here. So what I'll do is I'll come back and show you all how this table looks. Okay, Royal Family, this is the end result of the table that I made from the boxes from Dollar Tree and the uh, tile from e -Favor Mart. Y'all, I'm just really liking this table. I think I'm gonna make two to go on each side of my entertainment center. Look at my crown, y'all. Glam Princess. What? I like it. I hope y'all like it. So if you do, like and subscribe and click that notification bell so y'all can get notifications on my videos that I upload. Thank y'all.